Hi folks, John from Designed Elegance Pastry Shop here. How you doing? I hope you're well. I'm doing really good, thanks. So for today's lesson, we are going to make a batch of lemon log cookies. Uh, these cookies are very, they're light, they're buttery, they're crisp, and they remind you of spring. So with spring right around the corner and just trying to pop out, I think this is the perfect thing to make for today. So what we're going to do is we're going to cream some butter and some sugar together. We're going to add a few eggs. We're going to add some lemon zest, some lemon juice with fresh lemons. I'm going to show you folks how to uh, properly zest the fruit. And then we're going to, of course, add flour. We're going to finish mixing the dough. We're going to roll some balls. Uh, we'll roll some fingers, some logs. We'll bake them, we'll make some glaze. And um, with all that to do, we better get ready. So we'll be right back. One moment. Okay, folks, so for making our lemon dough, what we're gonna need is the KitchenAid mixer with the paddle and the bowl, of course. We are going to start with one pound of salted butter. Uh, you can use unsalted butter if you want to, just make sure that if you do, you add an extra teaspoon of salt into your mix after. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with half of my butter, two sticks, not all four, okay? I'm going to use white granulated sugar, and I need two and a half cups, so there's one. two, and then the other half, okay, so what I want to do is start mixing this mixture with only half the butter, and while that gets started, I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap the rest of the butter. What I'm doing for these here is I'm I'm using the side of the bowl to cut the butter into pieces. Okay, get that all in there. Okay, now this butter has been at room temperature, been softened. By breaking it up into pieces like that, it's going to help it to mix in quicker. What I'm doing is I'm just creaming the mixture. So now that it is, um, now that it's starting to come together, what I can do is I can increase the speed a little bit. I don't want to increase it too much because I don't want my pieces to fly out. Now before I go all the way with it, I'm noticing there's this big giant chunk of butter here, so I'm going to get that off of the top of the paddle there. We want it all to go in the mix. Okay. So, oh darn it, it just went right back into that same spot. Alright, so we'll move it over here. There we go. So we'll just let this go. And while that's mixing, I'm going to go ahead and get started on zesting the lemons. So, to zest the lemons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the, I'm going to use the small little, little holes here, okay? Not the tiny, okay? The small. Okay, you got your large. This is for doing like grated carrot. If you're making carrot cake, okay? This, you never get through it. Okay, this is the perfect size for lemon zest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do small circular motions. And I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to go all the way around. And then I'm going to continue around. And then I'm going to switch it around to the other side. 
small little circular motions, okay? I don't want zest all over the whole thing. I just want to do one little area, okay? And I'm going to turn it all around. And I'm not going to go down too far because I only want the color, okay? Now, here I'm Gavin, so we have our perfect, perfect amount of mixing right now. Notice the butter and the sugar are perfectly creamed together and it's starting to lighten up a little bit, okay? So before I start zesting here, I'm going to go ahead and add an egg. I'm going to add one egg. Because now I can see by the look of that that there's no more chunks of butter in there. So basically now I'm ready to start adding the eggs. Okay, so we'll just do one. And I might as well get another one ready. Okay, I'll set that off to the side for a moment. Well, that's mixing in nice. See how it's all coming together like a ball? It's basically one big piece. That's what I'm looking for. Now I do have that one area in the bottom, which is just a fatty area. So now would actually be a really good time to lift the mixer and use the spatula to just scrape that bottom part up so that it does end up in into the mix. We want everything to be consistent. Okay, so there you go. That was easy enough. And I just got it on low speed here. There we go. That's nice. See how it's all coming together again? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Get the last one in. We've got three eggs all together going in here. Now, if you're doing a half batch, you can't really split, you know, an egg in half. So what I would recommend is you use two medium eggs if you wanted to just do a half a pound of butter. Uh, instead of three large eggs, you would use two medium eggs if you want to do a half batch. So anyway, well that mixed right in. So let's just go ahead and lift this last one in. And once that smooths out, we can actually turn this mixer off for a few minutes while I go ahead and make the uh, zest. Okay. And we just want this to fluff a little bit. Once it starts pulling away from the side of the bowl, then we know that it's, uh, it's properly, properly fluffed. Now I can actually turn it up a little bit at this point. Here you want to give it about maybe 30 seconds or so. You just want it to soften up and you want it to lighten up a little bit. See how it's starting to stick to the side of the bowl a little bit? That means it's fluffing, it's it's collecting air. Okay. And that should be about that right there. Actually, let me turn it over. I want the paddle into the back there. Okay. So now. Like I said, with my lemons, I'm going to do my circular little motions. Okay, one other thing I wanted to say about lemons. Now, when you're buying lemons at the grocery store and you want lemons to put in your water, you make a lemonade or whatever, you know, it doesn't really make that much difference about your lemons. Um, you know, you want nice firm lemons if you want to keep them in the fridge for a good week or so. Uh, if you want to use lemons right away, I suggest you go through and you find the softest lemons. Not necessarily the most yellow, okay? You want the softest lemons because the softest ones are going to be the most ripe. Most ripe lemons are going to be the most lemony lemons. And if you're cooking or baking with lemon, that's what you want. So uh, notice how these are really soft, um, you know, and also uh, the softer the lemon, um, I've noticed that the thinner the skin is. So um, you want to keep that in mind. Anyway. I'm just going to use the, 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 this top corner here, okay, because remember, all of my zest is going to be very small, and I'm going to need to pick it out uh, in order to use it. So I don't want to have the whole thing be covered with zest. So, like I said, just small little motions. And the number one thing to remember here is to keep your knuckles away, okay? It's uh, very easy to skim your knuckle across and cut yourself right here. You, you want to avoid that. Trust me on that. If you, uh, you know, if you cut your finger right here, when you go to zest your lemons, you're gonna feel it. Trust me. So, all right. So 
that little bit of motion, and I've already got all the way around done, okay? Notice I'm not going too deep, okay? I just want the color, just the surface, okay? Basically, the surface is where all the flavor is. If you go down too deep into the pulp, then what you're doing is you're adding bitterness instead of lemon flavor. So keep in mind, the further down into the skin you go, the more bitter it gets. So it's just a little bit of motion. Like I said, I'm just taking off the, the outer skin and I'm, I'm giving it a turn as I go too. Kind of like a pitcher throwing a curveball, so to speak. Okay, so now, now I'm mostly all the way around. I got a little spot there to do. Okay, now I'm going to turn it around, okay, just so that I can do it properly and hold it properly. A few moments later. Two. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife here, and I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go into each one of these grooves like so. Get each one, it loosens it up. And now you go back the other way. Get them all. Now, tap, tap this way. And tap, tap this way. And there you go. That's all that's left. Wow. Beautiful. Okay? So, and that's the beauty of keeping it all in the same spot. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, you're, you're not going to catch it off. Playing that all night. You're not going to catch it off. So, now, I like to keep my table nice and clean. You'll notice I wipe it constantly so that I can just use my little bench scraper here or a spatula. Okay. And look at all this beautiful lemon gold. That's what oh, we want right my there. Oh, God. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's the stuff that's right amazing. there. That's like... Uh, and a little gold nuggets. Nuggets of flavor. Okay, so we're going to put that right in, like so. And give it a little quick mix so that we don't... Now I want it into the mix. I don't want it fluffing out. Okay. Now. Now for the fun part. Let's take this. 